It is election day in Central Texas and voters will be hitting the polls today to sign on everything from city council to school board members and some big school bonds. One of the largest issues on the ballot in Austin, giving Austin schools a record $892 million in bonds. There were a few supporters braving the elements yesterday, reminding people to vote for the AISD bond. This small group gathering on Barton Springs Road near South Lamar in the rain, campaigning in support of the school bonds. But a number of Austin taxpayers say spending that much money is reckless and irresponsible. KXAN's Omar Lewis takes a closer look at the impact the vote will have on Austin schools. Right now, AISD officials are weighing both options. What would happen if the bond were to fail or when they would begin all those improvements if voters pass this bond? It's the largest bond package in AISD history, a large part dedicated to building upgrades ranging from fixing leaking roofs to modernizing aging schools and improving security. If this bond package is approved, AISD tells us their board will immediately lay out an elaborate plan for when all those improvements would take place. But some taxpayers are against the bond, saying the district needs to better manage its funds. Today, AISD officials responded to those concerns, saying money they receive from the state isn't always enough, which is why the bond package would be critical to make the necessary improvements. What, what tends to happen is that part of the amount that the bigger school districts like Austin ISD, Houston ISD, Dallas ISD, those funds are returned back to the state so that they can help the smaller school districts. And if the bond is approved, that money would not be allowed to pay for teacher salaries or any other day to day expenses. Now, if that bond package is not approved, the district says they will have to start over from square one, figuring out what their next move will be. For now, we're reporting from AISD headquarters, Omar Lewis.